What's up everybody, in this video, we're gonna learn how to connect to Power BI datasets via the XMLA endpoint. This video is actually taken directly from my DA100 course, where we cover all of the topics covered on the DA100 Power BI certification exam. Microsoft has just released an update to this exam, so this new topic is being added to our DA100 course. The link to the entire course will be down in the description. With that, let's get into the lesson. In this topic, we're going to learn how to connect to a data set using the XMLA endpoint. In this specific example, we're actually going to learn how to refresh a single table within a Power BI data set. So you may have come across a very familiar circumstance where you have connected to multiple different data sources in your Power BI data set. Maybe one is an Azure SQL database and one is a local Excel file. So if you want to refresh your data set, you'll run into issues because you have that local Excel connection and Power BI service doesn't know how to connect to that file on your computer without installing a gateway. But using the XMLA endpoint, you're able to refresh single tables or multiple specific tables if you want to. XMLA endpoints open up a world of possibilities. So we're just scratching the surface in this video. Before we get started learning how to call this XMLA endpoint, I just want to show you the Power BI file that I published up to my Power BI service. So this file connects to a few different tables. Firstly, we can see we're connecting to our orders and order lines table directly from our database. I'm also calling our database to give us the current date time of the last refresh. Let me show you what I'm doing in order to get that value. In Power Query, let's take a look at the last refreshed uh, query. And we can see that if I double click on source over here, I am simply selecting get date from my database. So once we do that, we're able to get the time as of right now. And then I'm connecting to a local Excel file. Um, you can look at the source. This is connecting directly to an Excel file on my local computer. So once I publish this up, that's the reason why we're not able to refresh this data set. So let's go ahead and get into how to connect to the data set via the XMLA endpoint. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're on dedicated capacity. You either need to be on premium embedded or premium per user. You can check if your workspace is on premium capacity by going to the workspace settings. And under the premium tab, you'll have this toggle for premium capacity on or off. I can see that I'm on my embedded one capacity. Side note, if you are using the XMLA endpoint, you want to turn on the large dataset storage format. By default, it's on the small dataset storage format, but switching to the large format will allow your XMLA endpoint calls to run a little bit smoother and quicker. So I see that I'm on premium capacity. One other admin setting in order to get up and running, let's go ahead and go to my admin portal. And I'm gonna to go to my capacity settings. And under my Power BI embedded, I'm gonna click on my embedded capacity. And down below under management, under workloads, if we let that load, we want to turn on the XMLA endpoint read write. By default, this is gonna be on read only. Make sure it's on read write and then click apply and we'll be good to go. That will allow us to actually push changes to our data set instead of simply reading from those data sets. Now that we have that set, let's go back to our XMLA workspace. And now let's go to the settings again, premium, and this workspace connection is gonna be very handy in order to help us connect from a third party tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, and I'm going to open up SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS. If you don't have SSMS, I definitely recommend downloading it. It is free, provided by Microsoft. It's the default tool to allow you to interact with SQL Server databases, and in this case, we're gonna use it to connect to our Power BI dataset in Power BI service. So all you need to do is click on the connect button, and choose analysis services. By default, it will probably show database engine. Make sure you select analysis services and go ahead and paste in what we just copied. That's exactly what I have connected to previously. So it is already showing there and authenticate in whichever way you need to. I'm gonna authenticate with Azure Active Directory, universal with MFA. So I'm going to go ahead and connect and go ahead and go through the authentication flow. And once you've authenticated, you will see your new connection in the top left in the object explorer. If we open up the databases folder, we're gonna see all of the data sets available to us within that workspace. So I see my XMLA sample data set, and this is exactly what I should be seeing. Let's go ahead and open that up. Let's open up tables as well. We're gonna see the same four tables that were available to us in that Power BI file. And now let's go back to Power BI Service and see my last refresh time. So if I open up my report, I can see that I've last refreshed this on March 31st, 2021, 12, 13 with 27 seconds PM, uh, that's UTC time. So if I go back and try to refresh this, I'm gonna run into that error and it's just gonna error out and it will never refresh that value. So we see the error. If I come back to XMLA sample, we see the same value. But now if we go back to SQL Server Management Studio, 
let's right click on this last refresh table and click process table. I wanna change the mode to process data. So we're just refreshing the data within that table. And I can select other tables here if I want to. For right now, I'm just going to leave last refreshed checked and let's click okay. So this is going to kick off the refresh of just that single table. And remember that single table is just calling select get date to give us the time as of right now. And it looks like it was a success. If we come back to Power BI service and we refresh this page, we see that our new refresh time is 1251 PM. All right, back in SSMS, uh, we can right click on that one more time and go to process table again. And let's process data. Now I wanna show you that you can simply click this script button. It's gonna create that XML script uh, directly within your SSMS. As we can see, it's calling the refresh command just for the data only for the database called XMLA sample and the table called last refresh. Now we can simply click this execute button and it's gonna go through the same processing steps. And once it returns this final response, we can go back to Power BI and refresh and again, see that our data was refreshed uh, more recently. So just to round this out, if I come back to my SSMS and let me get rid of this query, let me go ahead and process this one more time, but I'm gonna select my three tables that I would want to process and leave my local table alone. So let's click on that script again, and we can see I'm now processing three tables. We can go ahead and execute those, all three of those tables and refresh them quickly. So based on our result, we can assume that our tables have refreshed properly and we're leaving that local data source alone. In future videos, I'll be showing you how to automate this via SQL jobs or similar, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, make sure you check out my DA100 course over at training.bielite.com. The link will be down in the description. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is the best way to show your support of the BI Elite channel and helps me continue making Power BI content. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.